Welcome back. Today we have these uh, very messed up rims that we're gonna fix. We're gonna hit it with the Kovacs uh, three by 16th orbital sander. I just got this thing. Uh, I'm trying to see how uh, it's gonna work. And I got the Kovac sandpaper too, it's 80 grit. Um, we're gonna just sand all these uh, really, really beat up spots on the rim and then uh, go from there. So let's get started with that. Check it out after the 80 grit sand scratches. We got this a uh, little bit more smooth now. So do you see these darker spots in here? I'm gonna get a wire wheel brush grinder type of thing. And I'm gonna make sure that's nice and uh, um, how can I say it? Like we make sure we get enough scratches in there so the paint can stick. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Not the paint, the compound guys. The compound we want the compound to stick all in there all right so we have to make sure we get all of that paint and all that other stuff out of there so that the compound sticks uh you know nice and solid so i'm gonna clean it up a little bit and then hit it with the wire wheel you see how it's nice and clean and there's no paint or anything in those scratches now so once we clean it up with some prep cleaner and things like that uh, we'll be able to put some compound on here and it'll stick pretty well uh, yep I'm gonna go ahead and hit it again actually with the 80 grit real quick just so I can Make sure everything's feathered out. Um, hit it with 80 one more time, and then clean it up and then compound it. So let's do that next. So first, what you want to do is hit it with some prep all, wax and grease remover um, on a nice clean rag. Uh, you know, clean up the surface really, really good. Do that, let it dry, and then you're gonna hit it with some of this uh, metal reinforced filler. All right, aluminum filled for metal surfaces. So go ahead and get you some of this. Uh, follow these instructions and apply it. Um, let it dry, and then we're gonna go ahead and sand it and make it look really, really nice. Uh, but make sure you give it enough time to dry, okay? Let's get started with that now. All right, this is the final look before we put our compound on it. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. There it is. Right, 
right, check it out, guys. This is what we have so far. Uh, we just want to get the material on there. Um, we might have to sand it. Well, we are going to have to sand it, of course. And then we might have to add another uh, layer of Bondo, okay? So just make sure you get it on there. Use your fingers if you have to to like form it. Uh, let it dry really, really good. And then we're gonna sand it uh, and then see if we need any more, okay? What's going on guys? So this is day two working on the rims, uh, fixing up all the damage. With this product, all right, this metal reinforced filler, less is more. I put way too much material on there and it never dried. I put like a bunch of hardener in it and it would never dry so make sure you do a little bit of this and maybe a little bit more hardener okay but less is more with this guys i had to take it off like twice so before this thing would not get hard at all so now it's nice and solid i'm gonna go ahead and sand everything get it nice and smooth and see if i need more um see if i need more compound let's do it guys this is 180 grit we try to get the da uh, in all those cracks but you can't get everywhere so you're gonna have to hand sand it with uh, 180 grit all the way around and then I'll you can go from 180 to 220 but I'm gonna jump to from 180 to 320 okay uh, 180 to 320 and then I'm gonna hit it with some primer when it's at 320 grit okay so go ahead and do that. Just a quick note, if you don't have any sandpaper like this, all right, if you don't have any of this, you can use this too, these scuff pads. Uh, I would use the green one first, just a little bit more coarse, and then use this one after. And then once you use this one and this one, then you can, you know, after you wash it and clean it and use some uh, solvent remover, you can go ahead and uh, prep it after that. Uh, I mean, sorry, you can go ahead and prime it after that. All right, so I'm gonna use these. Uh, it's a little more flexible and I can get into those spots that are harder to uh, sand. guys now that we sanded both rims with um, 80 grit we hit it with 180 grit and then we hit it with our maroon scuff pad and our green scuff pad uh, now we're gonna go ahead and wash it I use this stuff right here uh, bulldog abrasive prep and clean and a gray scuff pad I'm gonna get some water put some of this on here and just scuff it down really good rinse it and dry it and then we'll be ready to put our primer on there and then we'll go uh, see what happens after that see how it looks guys nice clean and dry we're gonna hit it with some prep all or like solvent to uh, clean everything up I ran out of prep all so I'm using this uh, like thinner it's the same it works the same same concept you should get some prep all but if you, all you have is like thinner or reducer you can use that to just give it a nice wipe down see how it cleans it up Hit it all with some primer. Let's see how it looks. All right, guys. 
uh, sorry about the wind. Uh, you should have something like this now. Uh, that's about three coats of primer. We're gonna let that dry really, really good. You're gonna sand it, scuff it, scuff up the whole entire rim again with 400 grit, okay? I like 400, you could do a finer grit script, you know, you could do 600 if you want, but I like 400 before I put the color on there. All right, guys, so the rim, uh, we got three coats of primer on there, right? Now we're gonna lightly sand it with a gray scuff pad. I'm just gonna ever so slightly just sand it and put some scratch marks on that primer. After I do that, I'm gonna blow it off with some air and then I'm gonna hit it with this Plasti Dip. This is what the client wants to put on there. Um, we're gonna hit it with this first, a couple coats of this, maybe like two or three, and then we're gonna hit it with the, uh, the clear. Look at how these things are turning out guys the client is very happy and i myself am very happy um, that's like about three coats of that plasti dip and we're gonna hit it with one final coat of this uh gloss okay guys so i was so excited with how the rims were turning out that i did not record what they look like after i hit it with this gloss protective coating thing it doesn't really give it a gloss for real it um it kind of like protects the uh, black plastic dip that we put on there, okay? It does shine it up a little bit, but it ain't nothing too serious. But it's really good to put that coating on there. That way the plastic dip lasts a little bit longer. Uh, just in case you guys were wondering, this is the primer that I used, okay? Two-in-one filler and sandable. You can get this from like AutoZone or something like that. Hey man, if you guys like the content, make sure you give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.